Hi folks, it's Dave Bernstein here, one of the steering committee members for the Taste of the Nation 2011 right here in Arizona. And I've got Julie Zogers with me and she is one of the co-chairs. How are you today? I'm oh, great. I'm really you, excited for this event, which you, is now only five weeks away. That's right. 39 days away from this very day right here. and It's, it's getting closer by the day here. And i got to tell you, I, I'm really excited because I know what this means to uh, stopping hunger. You know, there are a lot of children. In the nation, I, I believe the stats, one in five, one in six kids, that's about 17 million kids. And um, you worked on the event last year. Uh, what, uh, what did you see at the event last year? What were some of the things that you saw, uh, some of the good things that were being done with Share Our Strength? It's great to have an event like this where you can get hundreds of people turning out from the local community supporting this effort. And what I love about Share Our Strength, Taste of the Nation, Arizona, is that the money that we raise here primarily stays here. Right. So we are directly supporting St. Mary's Food Bank and the Association of Arizona Food Banks. That's great. I mean, the money stays here in Arizona, but we've got a lot of national sponsors. I know the Food Network got involved uh, in the last couple of years. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. The Food Network, Brown Foreman, American Express. We're, we're very lucky to have these national sponsors. Oh, yeah. Now, we've got a lot of foodies here in Arizona, and we have a lot of events, but there's really nothing like this. I mean, this is a chance for us not only to have a good time, but also to give back, give back to the community, give back to the entire nation as well, too. And we're going to have a lot of local uh, celebrity chefs, a lot of, you know, chefs that are coming to, and they're going to be doing what cooking at the table, is that correct? Yes. What, what did you see last year? When you sit down to your five-course meal, it's going to be prepared tableside for you from some of Scottsdale and Phoenix's finest chefs with the biggest hearts. They are representing restaurants uh, you are absolutely familiar with. Oh, yeah. I know that you've got our top secret list that That's you right. are releasing. And we're not giving it to you yet, but it's going to be coming up the next couple of weeks. As soon as we can give you the names of those chefs, we're going to let you know. And I think the sooner that you actually get your tickets to the event, you get to sit at those tables. Is that correct? If you are one of our VIP ticket purchasers, mm. you have the opportunity to let us know which restaurant you would prefer. Now explain that to everybody. What's the difference between the VIPs and the regular tickets? The VIP ticket is $100 and we will be happy to welcome you for the mixology competition where you'll have a chance to sample 15 different cocktails. 15 different cocktails? Can someone drink 15 different cocktails? In small quantities. Good. We, we just wanted to make sure you know that. So, yes. And we will have some appetizers as well to help you with all of that alcohol. Great. You'll then sit down to your five-course dinner. You'll also get a chance to participate in a silent auction and a live auction. Mm, that sounds great. That sounds fantastic. And it's going to be uh, uh, formal wear, casual wear. How will people be dressing for the event, do you think? Arizona festive. Arizona festive. How would you describe Arizona festive for those who you know, wishing to purchase a ticket? What do you think? Well, that can be open to some interpretation. I would say dress to impress. What do you think? Absolutely. Dress to impress. If you feel comfortable in a, a tie, fantastic. If you want to dress in a tux, you can do that. I think everybody's going to be there in, in different, you know, get-ups, and we're all going to have a great time, and it's going to be a beautiful thing. It's so. certainly going to depend on the temperature that day uh, as to how skimpy the outfits get. This is true. May in Arizona. You never know what May is going to be like in Arizona. So dress, I guess, for comfort and to impress as well, too. So um, I, I know that you mentioned that there are going to be different chefs at the tables. Now, are they, I heard they're representing different cities. Is that correct? Yes. Explain that. The idea is that we are representing a true taste of the nation experience. So each city and each chef will be assigned a different city or a different region. So your table may be dining on cuisine from New Orleans. Mm, nice. My table may be dining on food from Boston. Ah, very good. So the Boston cuisine, the local cuisine for that table, that's what's going to be featured right there at their, uh, at their table. That's, that's beautiful. Absolutely. That's fantastic. And of course, we've got the auctions as well, too. And um, anything else that people need to know to get involved, uh, perhaps maybe as a volunteer? Because I know that we're accepting uh, uh, emails for volunteers as Absolutely. well, too. How can they do that? If you're interested in becoming a volunteer, we'd be more than happy to have you come work with us on the day of the event. And can I have you run uh, the email address? Absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, uh, I, by memory right now, I actually don't have it memorized, so I'm going to actually link it to this video. And so if you guys would like to, to join us right there, and it's on May 13th. Let me go ahead and mention the date one more time. It's Friday, May 13th, 2011. And literally, I mean, just a couple of weeks away here. So we're always looking for volunteers. There's tons of things that can be done. So if maybe uh, you're not interested in joining us at one of the tables, and I don't know why you wouldn't be interested, for goodness sakes, I mean, for $100 to be able to sit at a table and to, to help child hunger and to have someone cook dinner for you and to taste 15 different cocktails, 
I mean, my goodness, I mean, it, it, there's not going to be a better time to be had in Arizona on Friday the 13th of May, I can promise you that. But if you would like to just volunteer with us, we would love to have you because it's important to contribute any way you can. And again, this goes out to a very, very good cause, you know, stopping child hunger. And so we'll make sure that we link that uh, for you as well. Anything now, else? you just mentioned that general admission tickets are $100. Yes, yeah, I want you to tell about the VIP if tickets are, as well, too. If you're a VIP and pay $200, then you not only have the opportunity to come to the fabulous mixology competition and cocktail hour uh, 30 minutes earlier because you want the first crack. Mm, that's true. And all of that liquid libation deliciousness. Ah, I love that. I love the way that sounds. Uh, but you also have the opportunity to let us know which table you would like to be seated at. Mm. And you get an extra swanky gift bag. All right, so you're going to get some extra goodies in the bag. And as a matter of fact, I think we have the bag right here. Now, <laughs> I can't show you what's in here. You have to come to see what's inside the bag right now, but this is going to be the extra swanky bag. Be right back. Overflowing with good stuff. That's right. Promise. But wait a minute. You said that they get an unfair advantage. They actually get to come in early and choose where they want to sit. Is that right? We will uh, have seat assignments in advance. Okay. So we will have selected a table for all of the guests who are coming. Okay. However, if you are a VIP, you can let us know when you are RSVPing which table you would like to be seated at, which chef you would like to dine with, which restaurant you would like to experience, and we'll do everything we can to honor that request. That's fantastic. And now it's going to be at the beautiful Princess here in Scottsdale. Fairmount Scottsdale Princess is a wonderful setting. We're most grateful to them for being so generous with us. What do you think? Do you think that uh, people will come and, uh, and then head back? Do you think they'll stay here, maybe get a room you know, for the hotel you know, for the night? I mean, what would you suggest? After 15 cocktails? <laughs> I would strongly encourage you to consider staying over. That's right. Especially because it doesn't just end with those 15. Your five-course meal is paired with fine wines and spirits. Oh, my goodness gracious. Folks, you may not need to drink for the next two months, basically, is what we're saying here. But no, obviously, this is not about liquor here. It's about, you know, doing something very special for some very special kids. All so. about the hungry children. <laughs> exactly. But as you can see, Julie and I are having a lot of fun right now. And that's what it's going to be that night. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's not going to be a bunch of stuffy people in the room. Again, there are going to be auctions. There are going to be a lot of, you know, swag bags and everything. There's going to be great food. There's going to be uh, music. Are there, are we going to have some music there, perhaps? We're still confirming, so I can't promise anything. Can't say anything yet. We but may. We may. There will be celebrity chefs. There will be fabulous auction items that range everything from one-of-a-kind vacations to artwork to jewelry to uh, some amazing food. Things you're really not going to want to miss. Things that, that aren't necessarily what you'd find at other auctions and other charity events around town. Well, I'm getting excited, and I think that we've just, you know, begin the conversation right here. And I think we may be doing a part two in the future as we get to give you some more information. But for now, we urge you to go to strength.org slash Arizona. Please go over there. Check out everything that's happening. You can get the tickets online right now. Again, it's $100. Uh, for the uh, general uh, admission and of course we've got the VIP tickets available as well and you, the earlier the better because once the tables are gone they're gone I mean there's nothing else we, we can do about it they can only fit so many people in the room so if you're even thinking about it it would make a make a great date night it would make a such a good day oh it would make a great Mother's Day gift for goodness sakes Mother's Day is right around the corner and just you know for goodness sakes for the price of, of the ticket and for all it goes towards I can't think of a better way to spend a Friday night. So we want you to go to strength.org slash Arizona. Check it out for yourself. We'll have a part two video coming up soon. We want to thank you for watching us right now. This is Julie. I'm Dave, and we'll see you there on Friday the 13th. Hope to see you there.